Hi, I'm Gordon Euling. I'm here with Mattia, one of our students, and today we're going to be doing the X drill. The X drill is a great drill because it forces the player to move up and back versus just going lateral. On PlaySight, we use a lot of the features PlaySight has to do the X drill, and maybe you could explain why you like doing X drill on PlaySight. So as a player, I like to do this drill on the PlaySight because it allows me to do two main things. First of all, it allows me instant video analysis when I finish each drill so I can come back to the kiosk and see what I'm doing wrong or right with my footwork. And that to me is very important in improving my game. And second off, I know that when I hit the targets, the play side reinforces me by making a sound every time I hit it in the correct zone. So I know that I'm performing my shot correctly and that reinforces me to keep doing what I'm doing or make any changes if I have to. All right, so let's set up for it. Let's go. So all you would do is simply go to stroke drills and I'm the feeder. Mm -hmm. And then any stroke. And then we're going to go to the different areas. You have the easy zone, but in this case, we're going to go past the service line, which is the medium zone. Okay, and then we have how, how many strokes do we want to get in that area? We're going to say in this case, 15. Now I can do 15, 30, however many you choose as a coach. And then we're going to start the drill. Let's do it, X drill. Good. 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 Excellent. Very nice. Bravo. Come on, baby. Let's go see some stats. Mattia, you did great. Longest streak, 10 in a row. Let's see how many you got. You got 15 out of 16 attempts. So this is actually a little easy for you with this kind of depth. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go change the drill, and we're going to go to a tougher zone. Same drill, however, not medium, not past the service line, but we're going to go past the nine foot from the baseline zone. This is a tough area. Let's see how you can do it. Level three, baby. Get up to that ball. That's it. Excellent. Get up. Good ball. Get up to it. Okay. Okay. Oh, I love it. All right, Mattia, this is more challenging. We went to the hardest level. You made three in a row versus, what did you make, 10 in a row before? 10. Okay, and then let's we go into drill summary. You made 43% in the hard area versus, what was it? 94%. Also, 94%. 86% in the court. So very strong effort. However, I think it could be better so we can continue to work. I'm gonna to go to Analyze now, and in Analyze, we're gonna look at your backhand. There's something on your footwork that we've been working on I'd like to kind of share with everybody that's watching. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna to go to Court View, and I'm gonna to go to Strokes, and we're gonna to go to Advanced Filter. So I wanna see all your backhands, basically only your backhands, okay? And we're gonna look at your footwork on the deep ones, and let's, let's see what happens here. And look at this position. Is that a position we're looking for? It's not, is it? No. So tell me what we're looking for here. Well, just by looking at this video, I can see that my right foot is not in the right place, and I want to come around more. So your hips open. aren't able to come through. Exactly. One thing that's beautiful about PlaySight is you can get the player to actually work on their own technique and have them see things, and they can coach themselves, and that's a powerful tool to be able to do as well. So what I like to do is actually right now work on some deep, short, short forehands, deep backhands, and then let's see how that looks. And we're gonna improve that part of your game. So you'll be getting easier depth. Make sense? Makes sense. Let's do it. Let's go. Come on. 